quickest way. That one, but it's a bit rough. He's drowning, never mind rough. Oh, what's the point in getting your hair styled when <laughs> this thing ruins it? Stupid rules. Where's the fire? It's not a fire. Andrew's drowning. Out of the way. Who's Andrew? Oh, he's in the swamp. Who is Andrew? Who knows? Let's go. It's probably for the best I've been away for this past week. Why's that? Because Lisa and Stevie needed the time to plan my birthday party. Oh, right, right. So, um, Saturday, that's the big day, right? They probably got a welcome home celebration planned right now, too. Hello? Stevie? Lisa? Anybody? Where is everybody? Welcome back, Carol. Good holiday. Where is everybody? Oh, they rode off. They went over the spur. They're in a big hurry. Um, they took Starlight, so how am I supposed to get there? I'm glad he's okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's so cute. Where's Andrew? He's okay, look. Andrew's a dog? Well, he's not a cat. We rode all this way for a dog? We thought it was a boy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Come here, boy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> How could a boy do that? Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi there. You're a clever puppy. Oh, come so here. I hope oh, it's good to see you back. Wet. Oh. He's a good dog. Oh, good oh, he's so clever. About you. You, find you missed me, didn't you, Starlight? Oh, yeah. What a clever puppy. You didn't you? For a dog. Well, don't blame me. I didn't name him. I was looking after him for me friend. Uh, well, you're not doing a very good job. He almost drowned. Oh, he's so slobbery. <sighs> I hope it's okay I borrowed Starlight, Carol. Belle was really tired. Oh, that's fine. Honestly, I'm just glad the dog's okay. So, got anything planned for this week? Not really. Same old, same old. Now, Lisa, do it now. Hey, listen up, everyone. First of all, well done to everyone who helped save poor old Andrew. I'll have the swamp fenced straight away. Now, I have a small announcement. Pine Hollow is going to play host to one of the finest event horses in France. His name is Hugo, and he's out of quarantine today. Now, Lisa, why is he coming here? Well, his owner is going to spend some time with us at Pine Hollow and her horse has been sent on ahead, so we get to look after him until she arrives. Come on, do it. Here's an announcement from my sister. Melanie is making a videotape for a school assignment on... 
The subject I've chosen is riding horses and Pine Hollow. So could I have you out in the ring, please, while the light is still good? Come on. We are gonna have some fun Riding horses in the sun Looking for adventure Riding with the wind It just makes you wanna sing We're on top of the world Feeling so high We just wanna be free We're on top of the world Having fun in the sun Just you and me Let's go! Okay. That was good, but I think we can do better. Lisa, could you put a bit more feeling into it? Feeling? I thought you wanted riding. Yeah, but you weren't doing it like you meant it. How was I, Melanie? You were good, Veronica. It's probably the acting lessons I've had. Yeah, that would be it. You'll never be able to compete with an actress. <laughs> you can make your own announcements in future, sis. I'll go through it again so you can pick up some pointers. Thanks. That'd be great, Veronica. Oh, look. That must be Hugo. <gasps> Hugo. <gasps> I was told this was my best side. Oh, I can't wait to I bet he's beautiful. Melanie? <gasps> so unprofessional. Like. Come on, boy, that's it. Gosh, Ashley. Wow. Out of the way. There it is. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh, my. Wow. Oh, he's beautiful. Real beauty. Yes. Real champion. <laughs> Never out of the top three places in last season's calendar. Uh, could you just sign to confirm delivery, please? Sure. Can you check the brand, please, Mum? <laughs> Half moon over A. He looks so good after all that travelling. Well, you can't be good breeding. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Wouldn't Hugo be a dream to ride? You wouldn't be the one riding him, Carol. It'd be great to get a horse like that as a birthday present. Yeah, or a Christmas present. Or any time, really. <coughs> Go away! <sighs> Let's hope a thoroughbred from Europe will bring a bit of professionalism to Pine Hollow. Don't be a pain, Veronica. There's nothing wrong with Pine Hollow. Well, you've got nothing to compare it with. Once you've ridden in Europe, as I have, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'll never know what you're talking about, Veronica. And I don't think a trip to Europe would help. Mm -hmm. What you don't get in Europe is a mongrel dog running around the stables and silly girls with cameras making a nuisance of themselves. My assistant here left the camera on standby for some of those shots, so can we try again? I've just untapped Prancer. Well, that's OK, Lisa, because I wasn't really asking you. I've got some time till my mother picks me up. That'd be great, Veronica. I'll just go check my makeup. It's gone. Somebody has stolen my wallet. Well, it wasn't me. Oh, come on, Veronica. It wasn't any of us. You've left it at home. I don't make mistakes like that. Somebody has stolen it. Like who? Somebody who's short of money. That goes for all of us. You think we're all in on it? This is not funny. Nobody's laughing, Veronica. Scooter was asking everybody for a loan this morning. So what else is new? He wanted to buy a new Game Boy. Reality check, Veronica. Scooter was a little busy this morning. When could he have done it? Haven't you noticed how he sneaks around? 
He's not sneaking around. He's installing computer cable. And Scooter only works here part-time, but he's always hanging around. Because he's a friend. Friendship! You should try it sometime, Veronica. No, 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 please. I go blotchy when I'm upset. But this is like reality TV. Has anyone seen my boots? Size 10, pull-ons. I can guess what's happened to them. Really? They've been stolen. Yeah, right. What? On, brother. There's a thief at Pine Hollow. Oh, give us a break, Veronica. My wallet, now your boots. Don't listen to her, Max. Have a good look for it before you start accusing people. You just lost it. Is this a private fight? Or uh, can anyone join in? Nice game, boy, Scooter. Cool, eh? Bet it wasn't cheap. <laughs> and here we were thinking you were broke. Mm -hmm. Huh? Scooter, what size boots do you wear? Size 10? Why? I didn't have all the money. So the guy in the shop let me fix his computer as part payment. Very generous. I had to supply the parts. I'd never steal from people here, Max. They're friends. Yeah, I know, Scooter. I suppose the things will turn up. It must be somebody else. The question is who? Actually, this situation reminds me of the theft in that new game. Who's guilty? Yeah. This kid took all the stolen stuff back to Mars because she was really an alien. Right. Yeah. So, does this remind you of someone at Pine Hollow? Well, it could be anybody. I mean, let's face it. So, Veronica's purse could be on, on Mars. Or on its way there in a dematerializer. I think you spend way too much time playing computer games, Scooter. Oh, no. I'm into a lot of things, Max. As an entrepreneur, you know, I have to be. An entrepreneur? Oh, sure. You gotta diversify, Max. It's the only way. I don't wanna find myself at 30, <laughs> stuck in the one job, doing the same thing every day. You know, <laughs> <laughs> What would you feel? Cooped up in a jet for a day and then in quarantine for weeks. Of course you'd like a gentle trot around. I'd have to check it with Max first. It's a very valuable horse out there, Carol. Why bother Max? He's busy enough as it is. Always thinking of others, you girls. <laughs> and with Veronica screaming blue murder about a thief on the prowl, look, Red, I'll take Hugo for a gentle ride, cool him out, and have him back in the paddock in no time. I'll just finish up in here and then I'll ask Max. I'll tack up while I'm waiting. This is a really bad idea. You and I are gonna be the best of friends, aren't we, Hugo? Yes, we are. Be careful, Carol. I mean, we don't know anything about his temperament. And he is French. Horses are the same all over the world. They don't have nationalities. Not like people. Even so, take it easy. Lisa? <clears throat> And you did get permission, right? Red's asking Max. Asking? Okay, Hugo, walk on. Hugo, walk on. Hugo? Hugo? Scooter's just so nice and cute. How could he be a thief? Oh, Christy. Christy, cute people can be thieves. You've got to look at the evidence. Everything points to him. I still can't believe it. Believe it. Scooter's bad to the bone. It could have been red, I suppose. No way. I mean, they're both just workers with no social background. I just wish everybody in the world were rich like us. Then there wouldn't be any problems. We'd all be happy. Mm but they'd still be the saddle club. They are so ordinary. 
Stevie and Lisa are so full of themselves over Carol's surprise party. What? The surprise party on Saturday. Everybody got an invite in their cubby hole. Everybody except me? Not, not that I care very much, but it's the principle. They're not going to get away with this. It's strange. He doesn't feel like a trained horse, let alone a champion. Maybe he's having trouble moving in a different time zone. He's having trouble moving at all. to work with you. Veronica, what's your problem? What's your problem? How come everybody gets invited to the, no doubt, pathetic party on Saturday, but not me? I put an invitation in your locker. Don't lie to me. I did! So how come I didn't get it? My bag's gone. Well, we all know what happened to that, don't we? Do we? Scooter strikes again. Scooter, you're the one hiding. Maybe you're the thief. How dare you? Carol, Max wants to see you. I wonder why. Uh, about the new horse, I think. I guessed. Danny, did Stevie or Lisa mention anything to you about Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. The day after Friday. Uh, like what? Like, if they were doing anything special? Special... Ugh, never mind. You should have got permission. I asked Red to ask you. Nice try, Carol, but it's customary to wait for a reply. Yeah. Sorry, Max. Hugo's a big horse. He could have injured you. No way. He's the quietest horse I've ever sat on. Hugo? Are you sure he's a champion event horse? Well, absolutely. Why? He didn't obey any of my commands. Well, maybe he didn't understand your accent. <laughs> maybe. Listen, Carol, you haven't noticed Scooter behaving suspiciously, have you? Max, you know Veronica. She gets everything wrong. Yeah? She thought Angie was a boy. Well, he is, isn't he? No, a human boy. Right. Veronica just lost her wallet. Yeah, I guess. Max! My bag has gone missing. Now, you sure you've got it turned on? Yes. And now stables are famous all over the world. Just today, a horse arrived from France. The French said, wee oui, wee oui, to Pine Hollow. Cut. Now let's get Hugo up against the sky. I like operating the camera. Can't I do that for a change and you do the horse? Ashley, I just don't think that you're ready to direct yet. Being a director is more than just pointing the camera, you know. Now take Hugo over there. Ugh. It's not fair, Melanie. Give me a turn. <laughs> Get away from me, you oh. horrible thing. Oh. Oh, leave me alone, you animal. Get him away from me. Call him Andrew. Then he'll obey you. He's your lookout, isn't he? No. He's a dog. I know what you're up to, Scooter. Yeah. I'm installing computer cable. 
Always with the cover story, eh? <sighs> Let me get this straight. You were just walking along next to the yard, minding your own business, and then suddenly Hugo jumped the fence and galloped off? <sighs> he jumped the yard fence? Do you know how high that fence is, Melanie? Try this high. I could hardly get him to walk, let alone jump. It wouldn't have happened if I was directing. You weren't trying to video Hugo, were you? You said you wouldn't tell. How it happened doesn't matter now. Just tell us which way he was heading. It was hard to say. Which way? That way. Come on. My wallet. I knew it. Some red. We can't leave him now. Look how far down he's sunk. He could break a leg. This is all Melanie's fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is now. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Previously on the Saddle Club. Why's that? Because Lisa and Stevie needed the time to plan my birthday party. Where's Andrew? He's like, hey, look. Andrew's a dog? Well, he's not a cat. We rode all this way for a dog? Danny, did Stevie or Lisa mention anything to you about Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. The day after Friday. Uh, like what? Like if they were doing anything special? Not really. Same old, same old. Pine Hollow is going to play host to one of the finest event horses in France. His name is Hugo, and he's out of quarantine today. It's strange. He doesn't feel like a trained horse, let alone a champion. Maybe he's having trouble moving in a different time zone. He's having trouble moving at all. Has anyone seen my boots? Size 10, pull-ons. I can guess what's happened to them. Really? They've been stolen. Yeah, right. What? Is this a private fight? Or uh, can anyone join in? Nice game, boy, Scooter. Cool, eh? It's not fair, Melanie. Give me a turn. <laughs> <laughs> How it happened doesn't matter now. Just tell us which way he was heading. My wallet. <laughs> It's okay, Hugo, we'll get you out. We'll have to get Max some red. We can't leave him now. Look how far down he's sunk. He could break a leg. This is all Melanie's fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is now. What are we gonna do?
Pedro. That's the boy. Come on. Try, right, boy. Come on, fella. That's the way. Come on. So, if you didn't put it there, maybe it just walked there by itself, did it? That's enough, Veronica. Let Scooter tell us his story. I can't wait. Oh, Veronica. I haven't got a story. I mean, I don't know. I've never seen it before. I've been watching you. And every time you come anywhere near the hayloft, you act suspicious. Guilty conscience. Come on, Hugo. Come on. Come on. Try one. Come on. One more foot. There's something else going on. I was making this for Carol's birthday. I wanted it to be a surprise. There's just got to be another explanation, Veronica. Well, I'd like to know what it is. Wouldn't you, Max? The money's still here. So? So? You said Scooter bought the Game Boy with the money, but look, he didn't, did he? Don't interrogate me. I've done nothing wrong. I'd say accusing someone falsely is pretty wrong. We've got you home and hosed, haven't we, Hugo? <laughs> What are you looking at? Is that mud? No, his markings have gone. Gone? His white socks must have been paint. What's going on? This is not Hugo. He's been substituted. This is a ringing. Because the real Hugo is so valuable. But how did they do it? That's what I intend to find out. <clears throat> I'm going to the quarantine office to check out what's happened. Of course I believe you. So does Stevie. And so does Max. <laughs> Are you sure about Max? Well, Max has got a lot on his mind with the new renovations and now Hugo. Yeah. What's going on then? Look, whatever it is, it'll come out in the end. Somebody's trying to frame me. Oh, no, don't talk crazy. <sighs> Veronica looks down on me. On me too. What's her problem? She thinks everybody's against her. But it's the other way around. I mean, she's against us. I tried to tell her that once. What happened? She said that just proved that I was against her. <laughs> yeah. Did you find him? I went and checked the paperwork. They've all seemed in order at this end. Mind you, they wouldn't let me look around the place. Maybe this has just been a mix-up. And the real Hugo will turn up. You're gonna have to call the police. Not quite yet. I'll call the owners in France. Make sure everything went okay at their end. Dorothea Dutay is arriving next week. Dorothy Dutte? Isn't she the French junior champion? She's coming here to Pine Hollow? Mm-hmm. And her first question will be, where is my horse? Well, 
It must have been that quarantine guy. I mean, who else would it be? It's a mystery. Maybe Hugo never left France. That's what Max is on the phone about. It's awful. Maybe. I mean, just maybe. Scooter is behind this as well. Give it a rest. Do you ever get tired of being wrong? It's not Scooter. And the French champion is coming to Pine Hollow. I wonder why. Suppose she hasn't heard that you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Starlight? You haven't forgotten today's my birthday, have you? Of course you haven't. I just can't believe Stevie and Lisa have. Hey, Stevie, Lisa, great day. Stevie's had this brilliant idea. You'll probably think it's too much. No, it's such a special day. I'm up for anything. We're going to ask Max if we can form a search party and check out the district. W what? It's not as if we're doing anything else, is it? No. Let's go find Max. Come on, Max. Fretting isn't going to help. How can a horse just vanish? It isn't your fault that he was stolen. You did nothing wrong. I just wish there was something I could do. Max. Stop blaming yourself. If only I could get in there. Get in where? Per sang and search the place for Hugo. Now, girls, you do realise how expensive it would be to send your three horses to Europe? Well, of course we don't know exactly, but that's why we're here, for a quote on the cost. Right. Well, it would cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. First, you've got your air freight, your road transport, your quarantine, etc., etc. We all have part-time jobs. When do you plan to compete? In the spring. Ah, oh, well, you've left your run too late. You do realise how far away Europe is, don't you? Of course we do. We all major in geography. We mean for next spring, of course. Well, girls, I really think you're in way over your heads. Can I get a drink? Mm-hmm. Well, we have lots of money. Stacks, we work very long hours. Hmm. I thought you just said you only work part time. Yes, we work very long hours in the afternoon, of course. Girls, I'm sorry. <gasps> what was in that water? She must be allergic to it. Well, I don't know, it's just bottled water. But where's it from? It's from a spring. A spring? Are you saying it's from a spring? It's natural mineral water. It's got minerals in it? Which one? I don't know. Minerals are good for you, aren't they? They don't look very good for her, do they? Feel. The agony is growing less. Thank heaven. Where, where is she? Who? Her. The other one. She probably went to call an ambulance. Don't move. Oh. Oh. 
She's only a girl. <laughs> and then Lisa goes, oh, who said that? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> But there's no sign of Hugo, Carol. No sign. Well, we tried. So, what are you guys going to do for the rest of the day? I might go see if Phil's arrived. I'll go do Pred's stall. Don't mind me. I'll just hang by myself. Whatever. No, I'll take along. My makeup purse has been stolen. So, what have you got to say about that? I just bought a new candy kiss lip liner and blusher too. Well? So, you think Scooter's into makeup now? Who will ever understand the criminal mind? Max is going to hear about this. Everybody, you are hereby invited to the world premiere of my film. Please hurry, seats are filling fast. I reckon the renovations are looking good. What do you reckon? I thought we'd last you to cross county for good. Nah, this is where the action is. And how? So, what did Max say? He's not there. But I'll tell him as soon as he gets back. As you know, I have been making a video... We... To... I mustn't forget my assistant. We have been making a videotape for a school assignment. Now, I have edited... We... We have edited. We have now edited it. So, without further ado, I would like to welcome you to the world premiere of Eye on Pine Hollow. This is just so juvenile. <laughs> so juvenile. <laughs> now we're coming to the quality stuff. Got your Oscar speech written, Veronica? How's that, Melanie? And now stables are famous all over the world. Just today... You must be so jealous of Scooter, Christy. Said, of Scooter? Why? <laughs> he puts just the right amount of Candy Kiss blusher on, don't you think? He wouldn't even know he's wearing it. Who says he is? Veronica does, don't you, Veronica? Andrew, what have you been up to? Andrew? Andrew, you little thief! so good after all that chocolate. Can't be good breeding. Andrew! Where are you? What a riot. You'll turn yourself in now, if you know what's good for you. Oh. Oh. You can run, but you can't hide. Your life of crime is over. You'll let me take the rap, you dirty dog. I reckon he's clever. And after I saved your life, too. Here's your invitation. Andrew snaffled it. Veronica, I think you owe somebody an apology. You trained him to do your dirty work, didn't you, Scooter? Oh. Why is he checking and double-checking Hugo's fetlocks? Because he's worried that the white paint might have rubbed off. He knows about it because he did it. Exactly. It was the delivery guy all along. This isn't even a good bit. It's not fair. Watch my tape properly. Our tape. Hang on, Melanie. This is important. The driver must have the real Hugo hidden somewhere. Can you make out the address on the trailer? I don't know why you're playing this over and over. This isn't even my best work. It's at the end of Dry Valley, isn't it? Let's get Stevie. I don't know why I bother. We!
you guys dangerous? It's four onto one. Eight including our horses. You're trespassing. Where's Hugo? Who's Hugo? As if you didn't know. Hang on, man. Uh, Hugo, uh, I delivered that horse to Pine, uh, Pine Hollow. You delivered a horse with no marks on his legs. The real Hugo has white socks. We know you switched him. Is Hugo in there? Well, have a look at them. Do they look like French thoroughbreds to you? They're all roughies. You'd be pushing at getting a couple of hundred for them. Lisa, can you please open the gate? Stop right where you are, Missy. Did you hear me? I don't think so. Hey, get away from there. Watch where you're going. Hello, Hugo. You need a good brush, don't you? I told you, uh, that's not Hugo. Uh, his name is uh, uh, Rocky. Lift Starlight? And lift Hugo. Walk on, Starlight. Walk on, Hugo. Come on. Halt, Starlight. Halt, Hugo. I wouldn't call him a Raffi. I'd call him a pretty good dressage horse myself. Stop right where you are. We're taking Hugo back to our stables. Not if I can help it. Now get off my property! Hey, hey! Get away from me! I'm not scared of you! Ah! Now that's what I call a champion. Max, I'd like to introduce you to the real Hugo. Hugo, this is Max. Am I glad to see you, mister? Should I say monsieur? <laughs> Good work. What a day. I'm glad it's over. I couldn't take any more excitement. Could you, Carol? I don't know. Try me. Actually, I want a word with you, Carol. In my office. Now, Carol, thank you for all your efforts, but I need to discuss a rather disturbing phone call I had from the guy at Per Sang. Yes, it was us. He was really angry. But we didn't do any damage. Well, not physical, but I think he's going to need some counselling. What was all that about spring water? You'll have to ask Stevie and Lisa. OK, I will. If anybody needs me, I'll be at the mall buying myself a birthday present. OK. Oh, before you do, could you go and clean up the lounge? It's, it's a real mess. What? Then the rest of the day is your own. Do you want me to wash the ceiling too, Max? Happy birthday, Carol! <laughs> surprise, surprise! You should see your face. <laughs> She's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hooray! Yeah. Thought we'd forgotten, huh? You had me worried for a while. I wanted to put you out of your misery, but she wouldn't let me. Yeah, see, do your song. Together we are. Brighter than the sun when we're together we are They come inside a storm and we are Nothing without each other and we are together 
where we belong together we are everything we need when we're together we are more than the sum of us and we are nothing without each other and we are together boys they drive you crazy boys don't they drive you crazy sometimes boys they drive you crazy. Boys, don't they drop? No, 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 I'm the first, Stevie's the third, and you're the fifth. Crazy, crazy, crazy. No, I'm crazy. No, you're crazy. I'm with you, Belle. They're both crazy. <laughs> so tell me exactly what Scooter said. He was totally in awe of our fabulous talent and said he could get us a recording contract. He didn't say that. Well, close. He said he could get us an audition. He's just trying to impress us. Scooter's not a liar. No, but he's a bit of a dreamer. There's nothing wrong with dreaming. <laughs> Big time, here we come. Boys, they drive you crazy. Boys, don't they drive you crazy sometimes? Boys, they drive you crazy. Boys, don't they drive you crazy? Thanks, Red. Sure. <laughs> Hey there. Hey, guys. Hey. You know the girl I told you about? The French junior champion? The one who owns Hugo? Dorothy Dute? I just got word she'll be arriving this afternoon. Cool. Wow. But don't forget, Hugo's a secret. Dorothy doesn't know he's here. So not a peep out of anyone until we're ready to spring the surprise, OK? Why is she coming all the way to Pine Hollow? Well, I've known the family for years, and she needed a place to rest. Get away for a while. Get away from what? Well, a lot of things have happened to her this year. Like what? I hope you will respect her privacy and make her feel at home here. Is she OK? Dorothy will probably tell you everything in her own time. Mm. So I'll just try and give her some space, OK? Maybe we can have some advanced writing lessons. Yeah, that'd be great, like master classes. We'll see. Do you think you could ask her, Max? Please, Max, please. You think you can handle that? Taking instructions from an international champion? Sure, of course. Yeah. Try and stop us. Talking. It was like there was something wrong with her. I agree. Maybe she's running away from something. Like what? Like an unhappy love affair. That's such a girl thing to say. Well, what do you think? Maybe she's on the run from the police. <laughs> That's such a guy thing to say. <laughs> there he is. Hey, Scooter. Hi. So, about this audition you're going to set up. What about it? Well, that's what we were wondering. What about it? Is it happening or not? Oh, it's a happening thing, yeah. So, when's it happening? Look, the thing you got to understand is that the entertainment industry is, like, unpredictable. Timing is everything. As musicians, you understand timing, of course. Yeah. Look, you do what you do best. Let me do what I do best. What is it you do best? You just gotta be patient and trust me, okay? See ya. <sighs> so was that a yes or a no? Why do I always have trouble trusting people who say trust me? <laughs> <laughs> She's coming. Thank you. 
must be Dorothea. I'm Max Regnery. We spoke on the phone, and you already know my mother, Elizabeth. Welcome to Pine Hollow. The last time I saw you, about four years old, you were small enough to pick up. <laughs> I do not remember this. How was your trip? It was pleasant, thank you. Let me introduce you to everyone. Uh, this is Veronica D'Angelo. Je suis vraiment contente de vous rencontrer, Dorothée. <laughs> tu parles français? I often holiday in France with my family. I see. Last year, when we were in Lyon, I even had private lessons with the Jean-Claude Louverture. You've heard of Louverture? Yes, Louverture is, uh, how do you say it, very old-fashioned. <laughs> uh, yes, that's what I thought. And this is Carol. I'm honored to meet you. Oh, merci. <laughs> uh, is there some place where I may rest? Oh, of course, dear. You must be exhausted. I'll show you where you can catch your breath. Uh, where do you want the cases? I'll get them. No, it's OK. I got them. I said, I'll get them. So what did we think? She's kind of not friendly. I liked her. Really? Why? I don't know. I got the feeling that underneath the act, she's really unsure of herself. Yeah, and she probably feels a bit jet-lagged. And she is European. They sometimes have different ways than us. <laughs> How did she get that limp? Maybe that's why she was, I don't know, sad? She'll be fine after she settles in. And when she sees Hugo tomorrow. I just wish I could be here to help her settle in. Going somewhere, Mrs. Rigg? My sister has won a luxury cruise for two. We'll really miss you. What will we do without you? Oh, I'll be stepping in. You? Oh, there's nothing I did that Deborah can't. But you know about horses, and you can ride. You're a legend, Mrs. Rigg. I've been taking extra riding lessons. Haven't I read? And making great progress. Well, it sure will be different around here. It'll probably be better with someone nearer your own age, more modern. I mean, I thought a cell phone was something used in prison. <laughs> <laughs> you will be coming back, Mrs. Rigg. You bet. But I expect you all to help Deborah and Dorothea while I'm away. I can't wait to see Dorothea's face when she sees this beauty. Hugo would cheer me up big time if I were her. Mm. Just so caring of her parents to send her horse all the way from France. I'm sure Hugo will help her recover. Recover from what? Uh-oh. Keep it down. Dorothea. Dorothy? Yes? I, uh, uh, actually... <laughs> I speak English, right? Uh, well, so do I. What a coincidence. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Fine, thank you. The kids are hoping you'll give them a few master classes while you're here. They're getting ready now, if you'd like to, uh... I'm not a master of anything. But, yes, if you'd like. Do you mind if I observe? No. Good eye. That was close. <laughs> We'd better go get settled up. Let's see a few warm-up circuits. Dorothea would like to assess you. Here, let me help. Uh, I'm not an invalid. Sorry. But thank you, anyway.
All right, that's enough. Please stop. If I help you, will you do exactly as I say? For sure. Yes, of course. Yeah. Very well. Everyone will please dismount. Pardon? You're not yet ready for horses. You must go back to basics. Dismount now. What's wrong? <laughs> to be a good equestrian is more than just riding a horse. First, you must master the basics, like standing, like dressing, like thinking, like being. You, for instance, have an attitude. Attitude? What attitude? That attitude. <laughs> you do not have, uh, how do you say, any pyjama? Huh? <laughs> you sleep? This is close, no? <laughs> Straighten up. You have a posture like a marionette. Uh, like a what? <sighs> and you, the way you move is like a monkey. <laughs> you have all picked up bad habits. Bad habits are hard to correct. Habits that would be unacceptable in any international competition. And so we will start at the beginning. We will learn how to stand, how to walk, how to hold the chin, just so. How to clean and check our tack. And then, perhaps, we will be ready to ride horses. What a grouch. It's embarrassing. Who does she think she is? The junior French national champion? She's practically saying you taught us bad habits. Well, I've never studied in Europe. Now, you did promise you'd do what she says. We might all learn something. Dorothée has a point. Good habits are vital. I remember Max had a fall in the national trials because he didn't check his reins, and one of them broke. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mum. So you're saying we have to put up with this? I'm saying this is an opportunity. What you do with it is up to you. I agree with Max. She's being strict with us because that's the way she was taught. <laughs> Teacher's pet. <laughs> I suppose you know where Carol is. Got a feeling you're resting to tell us. She's having a one-on-one -on -one chat with her hero about her career. It's a free world. I bet you Miss Snooty Dooty is advising her not to hang around with you losers. Don't you ever get tired of causing trouble? Mademoiselle Dute is the one causing all the trouble. She's got red twisted round her little finger. I can't wait till she goes back to where she came from. She's the troublemaker. Hey, we're going to swing the surprise on Dorothy. Veronica was just telling us how Dorothy is trying to get you to dump me and Lisa as friends. As if. Look, I know she's acting a bit weird, but everything will be different after she sees her horse. It's just what she needs. I don't know what he sees in her. Yeah, what does he see in a beautiful, mysterious foreigner who just happens to be one of the best junior riders in the world? He's just being nice to her because of her limp. Outside for a minute, Dorothy. Close your eyes. Why? It's sort of like a welcome to Pine Hollow tradition. <laughs> a 
Okay, you can open them now. We thought this might cheer you up. Hugo should not be here. He belongs to the past, and the past is over. What is wrong with her? Put you under this really neat search engine. Whenever you put us onto something neat, it's trouble. Here, shove over, Scooter. Okay. Yeah, last time we got into NASA's mainframe. Really? I've never been able to do that. And are we having our audition soon? Uh, <laughs> wow. Look at the time. Yes, here we go. <sighs> got it. Dorothy Dute, French eventing champion, junior division. Horse Hugo refuses final jump. Bad fall. There was concern that the three major eventing trials were too much for such a young horse. Wow. Then it might have been her own fault she fell. No wonder she doesn't talk about it. Eight weeks in the hospital. It must have been a serious injury. So she can't get on Hugo even if she wanted to? You mean physically? I think there's more to it than that. More? Like what? Like emotional. She gets such a sad, faraway look in her eyes. You really seem to be on the same wavelength as her, Carol. I think she needs help. What sort of help? Help to get over the past. Come on, or we'll be late. Let's hope she's gonna let us ride horses today. Where's Veronica? She's getting dressed. Still, she's just so inconsiderate. going to say something about your clothes again. Like what? Like, did you sleep in them? This is Pine Hollow, not the national champs. First, you must master the basics. Oh, please. Are you coming? You can't hurry perfection. Having a love affair with the mirror. You done comfortable waiting, Garnet? Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Where is Veronica? Still getting ready. <laughs> Please call her instantly. Punctuality is essential. Everybody's waiting. <sighs> oh, Veronica, I lose. Not now, Red. Almost an hour, and you looked uncomfortable, so... Why didn't you tell me? I tried. Veronica, <laughs> may I see you for a moment? <laughs> How stupid! 
Yes, you were. Me! But Red... You will not blame Red. He was trying to help because you were late. Garnet is your oss and your responsibility. A champion does not make excuses and blame others. You should check your own tech before you mount up. You're right. Oh, I'll never be a champion. I might as well sell Garnet and take up mud wrestling. <laughs> you would never quit riding or sell Garnet. You have natural ability and potential. I... I do? Your deportment, your style, your sense of leadership are all very good for someone so stupid. But focus, Veronica. A champion wins from up here. Do not let anything break your concentration. And one day, you could be a champion. You, you really think so? Who is the expert? So, what did she say to Veronica? Well, Veronica said they realized just how much they had in common. Raw talent. <laughs> <laughs> Veronica really has changed her tune. Not her attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Dorothy's got in mind for us tomorrow. Why don't you ask her yourself? Hi, Dorothy. We were just talking about you. Seems everybody here does that. Well, we talk about you because we know nothing about you. Why do you want to know things about me in the first place? Well, for one thing, why do you ignore your beautiful horse? It's cruel. Stevie. No, that's a fair enough question, Carol. You're really making him suffer. And do you know how much I suffer? Does anybody care about that? Previously on the Saddle Club. You know the girl I told you about? I just got word she'll be arriving this afternoon. So tell me exactly what Scooter said. He was totally in awe of our fabulous talent and said he could get us a recording contract. If I help you, will you do exactly as I say? Yes, of course. Very well. Everyone will please dismount. Pardon? We thought this might cheer you up. Hugo should not be here. He belongs to the past. And the past is over. Why do you ignore your beautiful horse? It's cruel. Stevie. No, that's a fair enough question, Carol. You're really making him suffer. Did you guys see how poor Hugo looked this morning? That horse needs to be worked. He's looking more miserable every day. Just like Dorothy. Morning, Dorothy. Beautiful day. Isn't he just beautiful? Just looks like the same old red to me, Carol. <laughs> Very funny. He's so <laughs> focused on Dorothy. I don't think he's the only one there. <laughs> okay, okay. You can say hello before I turn you out. Dorothy? Hugo's supposed to be in the field. I'd appreciate if you put him there, Red. Now. It's just not fair. It can't go on like this.
I'd like to announce that I've just signed you for your first engagement. What? Our very first show. <gasps> it's called a gig. It's not a show. It's a gig. <laughs> Way to go. Well, you know, you, you just gotta have the contact. <laughs> a gig. <laughs> a very first gig. <laughs> a gig? What is a gig? Carol Lisa and me have formed a singing group. A gig is where we sing. So many distractions. You must make up your minds. To be champion riders, you must have dedication. <gasps> what did she do wrong? Lisa? Uh, um... She allowed the horse to lose concentration and come off the aids as a salute. She's in an extended truck and it should be collected. <sighs> Very good, Veronica. Well, Carol? She let him move back a step after halt. Carol, if you won't recognize mistakes in others, you may not recognize them in yourself. I know what you are doing, but false praise can be as dangerous as criticism. Now, I'd like to see a simple change. Good job. Nicely done. Nicely done. How about this time, Carol? She has her collected. She let her horse cut in at that last corner, and she's out of control. <sighs> Excellent, Veronica. Do you see your mistake now? Uh, a circle is a circle, Stevie. I'm sorry to be such a disappointment. <laughs> I'll get out of your way. <laughs> I just don't get her, Hugo. She doesn't care how people feel. A circle is a circle, Stevie. <sighs> Dorothea is so wrapped up in herself. She makes everybody else miserable, including you. Cutting class. Dressage and I just aren't meant for each other, Max. I'd like you to quit. Why doesn't she ever ride him? She's too busy riding us, that's why. She's being very hard on you, sure, but that's only because she's so hard on herself. Why can't she get over it, Max? I mean, I know it was a bad fall, but she's only got a slight limp. Maybe it's more than just a physical thing. She shouldn't take it out on Hugo, though. Hugo? Hugo has forgotten and moved on. Sometimes horses are smarter than we are. But until she puts it behind her, she can't really heal, and until she does, there won't be a full recovery. If only he could talk to her and tell her how he feels. You could talk to her. She wouldn't listen to me. I give up on her yet, Stevie. You okay, Stevie? I've been better. She shouldn't have been so mean to you. It's not fair. It's because she's hurting so bad herself. She wants to hurt others. We're going to have to help her to get over whatever's eating her up. But how? Hugo. Hugo's the key. If she can be friends with her horse again, she can be friends with everybody else. Including herself. Off to work, Scooter. Yeah? You still at JB's? Yeah, I'm, uh... Maitre d' now. Congratulations. Thanks. You must be really busy. I mean, managing the Saddle Club girls as well as being maitre d'. It's nothing I can't handle. <laughs> and a trio doesn't worry you? Huh? Oh, it's just that the most successful bands these days have four members, like the Super Heist. Four? Yeah, <laughs> hey, good pickup. Look, I gotta go.
Gee, that's annoying. It helps me think. Be my guest, then. And it works! Dorothy's got to believe she's going to lose Hugo. Go on. And that will make her realise how much he means to her. That's good! But lose him? What do you mean? That's as far as I got. You mean, maybe we have to steal Hugo? Veronica! Steal Veronica? <gasps> Why? <laughs> no, listen. Veronica's always looking for a new horse. Get her to buy Hugo and... and... that might force Dorothy to... Admit her true feelings. <laughs> are we smart or are we smart? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry. Come on, come on, come on, get in there. No dishes again. No drop the dishes again. Oh, come on, I wasn't that late. Hey, you're always late. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, Maitre D. Well, um, I do show people to their tables too, you know. I dropped in because I don't think we quite finished our conversation. Oh. Well, um, if you're going to hang around. You'll have to order something. The chef's not in a very good mood today. In fact, he's not in a good mood any day. I'll have a glass of mineral water and a squeeze of lemon. So, what's on your mind? I have a proposition to put to you, as a manager. Ah, shoot. I'd like you to manage me. As what? I sing. I didn't know that. Oh, actually, my, my father thinks I've got a lot of promise. And he said he'd even put money behind my career. Are you interested in being part of it? Um, well, uh, I'll get the Saddle Club Girls launched and, and then, you know... No, I'll... no, no, no. As part of the Saddle Club Girls. Whoa, Veronica. But don't you and the, um, the Saddle Club kind of, well, <laughs> hate each other? <laughs> oh, that's just a game. Uh, look pretty convincing from the outside. If I'm in... So is Daddy's money. Okay, look, Veronica, no offense, but if I line you up with Carol, Lisa, and Stevie, it's not money I'm gonna need. It's intensive care. I'm sorry. Poor little rich girl who can know how jealousy hurts her so I cry. Dear Hi, Veronica. Beautiful day. Just the best. Can't wait to get to the ring. What about you, Veronica? Oh, it depends on what mood Dorothy is in. Yeah, I think she picks on you. I agree. And it's not really your fault, Veronica. With a better horse, you'd be her prized pupil. A better horse, you think? Gond is sweet, but... Your father is a great businessman. I reckon you should put in an offer for Hugo. I wish my parents were rich enough to buy him. But Hugo is Dorothy's horse. That's exactly it. Dorothy doesn't want him. I bet she'd sell him for a song. Bargain of a lifetime. It'll be great for everyone. <laughs> You're up to something, aren't you? What? Us? Huh? You want me to buy Hugo, don't you? Why would we want you to do that? I think it's a great idea. And I'm sure Daddy will think so too. He's a magnificent horse. You won't regret it. But... But what? But you have to do something for me, OK? What is it? I want to be in your singing group. You're kidding. What for? But we get on your nerves, don't we? That's the deal. Yes or no? Can't you read? We're closed. We open us. Hey, Scooter. What do you guys want? You can still make it tonight? Yep, all four of us can. A four? The Saddle Club's got a new member. Me. But I thought you guys, you know, didn't like being in the same room together. I told you that was all for show. Oh, wow. Well, I'll never understand, girls. Don't sweat it, Scooter. So, do I audition Veronica or...? That won't be necessary. She's part of the lineup. It's been decided. Well, it's really hard to tell what you girls are gonna do next. Actually, Scooter, I'd like some more info on what sort of gig this is going to be. 
Um, why? Well, like, where is it? How much money you expect us to make? How many people you expect to come? Look, <laughs> I've got it all sorted. I'll pick you guys up at 6.30 and we'll go straight there. Where? The venue. Which is? Uh, gotta go. That showbiz. Words got around to the other riding schools that you hear. They're very envious. I just want to thank you for allowing some of your expertise to rub off on our pupils. It is something to do. It helps take my mind off things. Well, that's what we're here for. If there's anything I can do, anything you'd like to talk about, just ask, OK? I still have trouble sleeping, Max. Well, you shouldn't push yourself so hard, Dorothy. Have some fun. Take Hugo for a ride. I've told you. I did not ask my parents to send him here. Actually, your horse is something I need to discuss with you. I've had enough of to buy, Hugo. How'd you feel about selling him? Sell Hugo? Hmm. Well, you never ride him. You should consider selling him. Perhaps. If the offer is good. back on that horse, she'll never ride again. Hi, Scooter. We need to have a talk. Oh, right. Uh, what about? I want to know a lot more about this gig tonight, and don't give me the brush off this time. I want answers. Okay. Um... It, it's all systems go. Uh, you don't have to worry about a thing. I worry whenever you say that. Uh, well, look, uh, the Saddle Club girls trust me. And I think they're going to regret it. Why? Well, for starters, is this music promoter guy going to be there or not? Uh, Jed Fender. Uh, no, uh, he's doing something else. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, how big is the venue? Well, it, it's not like a huge um, stadium. Yeah, so how big is it? Oh. Scoot up. I delivered those hay bales to JB's. I didn't know how you wanted them arranged. JB's? Is the gig at JB's? I'm gonna have it looking like a million dollars. I am not singing at a coffee shop. It's more of an entertainment lounge. The only entertainment at JB's is you trying to be a waiter. It's hysterical. You can't pull out an L, Veronica. It's so unprofessional. And how would you know, being so amateur yourself? Look, I've decided to pull out of your singing group. Huh? Why? Really? Well, we respect your decision. Yes, we all do. Fine. What's happened? Uh, are you still gonna buy Hugo? Of course I am. Me buying Hugo is the only good thing to have come out of this whole stupid mess. That's not a very nice thing to say, Veronica. Well, it's not a very nice thing to do. Who's doing what? Scooter! What's he doing? He's just making this whole gig thing up. What? Why should he make it up? Oh, I don't know. Some guy ego thing, I suppose. I don't know, and I don't care. You mean there's no gig tonight? Well, if you call a sing-along at JB's coffee shop a gig... ...and Jed Fender won't be there. Where am I gonna find another backing man now? It's not just a coffee shop. It's more of an entertainment lounge. Scooter, can we talk to you about the gig tonight? Uh, shoot. Is it really at JB's? Uh, Veronica sure moves fast, huh? Why didn't you just tell us? Uh, I needed you guys. What? Well, my job is on the line. My boss said unless I could get some more customers in, he'd have to sack me. Is there anything else we should know? Uh, no, uh, well, the backing band have just, uh, cancelled. Scooter! Sorry. I've got butterflies in my tummy. Don't worry. 
We're gonna knock him dead. <laughs> Carol, listen, I'm, I'm, uh, uh. What do you think, Colonel Hanson? They're, um, um, eye-catching. Where's Carol? Here, Dad. What do you think you're wearing, young lady? Uh, these are our costumes. Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. This isn't like you. You're being so old-fashioned. I can't afford to be old-fashioned, okay? I'm your father. Now, I want you to listen up. I want you to change into something a little more, um, um, uh, sensible. That's it, sensible, all of you. And, and none of you leave here in, 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 until you do. They all turn into parents in the end. There's a dream I can remember. I've dreamt it many nights. A magic creature comes to me in a black stallion horse of flight. The wings are shining, ebony and eyes that look for me. He wears no tackle, costume strong and beautiful to see. He nuzzles at my neck, he surely wants to ride. I climb on to his back before he checks. I'm home. Mr. D'Angelo, Hugo's one of the finest horses we've ever seen here at Pine Hollow and worth every penny of the asking price. Well, that remains to be seen. If my daughter takes to him, then I'll discuss terms with Max. Do you want a leg up, Veronica? Thank you, Red. Good boy, Hugo. We're gonna be great friends, aren't we? Walk on, Hugo. Oh, he's wonderful, Daddy. Exactly what I want. Walk pirouette, Hugo. Walk pirouette. Stop that. Do something, do something! Attention, Hugo! Écoute! Tends-toi, s'il vous plaît. Oh, Daddy, it was so awful! Ça va, ça va bien, mon ami. Hugo wants you to ride him. Merci, Hugo. Merci. <laughs> Allons, Hugo. And thank you, my friend. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 